Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Hello, everyone. Today we are going to do a sketch. So you need to have your sketchbook like this. You will see the sketch on the cover. Okay, you will see the sketch on the cover. That's the sketchbook. If you don't have the sketchbook, you can use the mixed media paper. Okay, so that will shows mixed media is for dry media. All right, and you can use the printing paper if you don't have the sketchbook. All right, so printing paper is work as well. Then you need to have your sketch pencils. You can have a whole set like this, and you are going to get a a full set of the sketch pencils. If you don't have, you can have few of them. All right, and of course you need to have your erasers, and the sharpener might be useful for this time. All right, if you don't have the sketch set, it's okay. Just use any regular pencil you have for writing. All right, so let's get everything all set for the class. All right, we're gonna do the sketch for today. Okay. So this is the photo that we gonna do for today. So I don't want to do the background too much. So first of all, I have to find which area I gonna draw. So I use the box. Let's see. I gonna draw this area. So I don't need to draw something else behind. Okay. So that's how big it should looks like on my paper. So you can see my box right here. I just box the elephant. All right, so we gonna do it with the layout first. Okay, so I gonna use a bunch of the circle and the line to shows the heads, body, trunk, and the legs. Okay, so before that, we have to find the center light for my joint. So we don't have to make our Elephant become too big or too small, so we need to find the center cross, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I use the computer to do it, so the line is super super straight. But you don't have to. All right, so just try your best to make sure the four boxes looks like the same on your paper. That's it. Okay, so let me make my color goes brighter so you can see it's more clear. So for the next step, we gonna find where's the elephant, right? And how big, uh, how big is the elephant on our joints? Okay, so I'm gonna show it with a bunch of the circle. Okay, then we need to find the heads. So let me got the colors. Okay, so let me change the color so the color can be more clear. All right. Okay, I got ready. So I need to find the circle. On the joint, and you can see where is the circle, and how big is the circle on the paper. So it's right on the center line, the vertical one. But you see, the left side is much bigger than the right, based on the vertical center lines. Okay, so the left side is bigger. So let's see. Do you have your first circles right? Okay. So make sure your circle is placing on the right size and the right place. Okay. So our next part, we have to find the body. The body is much bigger than the head, right? So let's see. It's cross the center point. It's cross the center point, and the most of the area is on the right top, and the left. Top and the right bottom, they looks almost the same. The left bottom is just a little bit. So, do you have the right place? Okay. So when we find the head body, now is the time for us to find the legs. So let's see the legs. The legs looks like two diagonal lights. Okay. Same thing. You have to compare. Where is the Legs. They are all on the right bottom corners. They are not crossing to the left side. They all stay on the right. Okay. 
So when we finish the leg, we have to find the trunk. So it's your choice. You can make your trunk go down like this, or you can do the same thing. It's curve up. All right. So it looks like this one. Okay. So when you done your outlining, the draft will looks like this. Okay. So uh, when we turn off the photo, so you see. Just a bunch of the circle, that's it, and the trunk is right there, and two legs. Okay, so make sure you have the scale looks right. We gonna have our three minutes water break very soon, so use this three minutes water break to get your scale right. Okay, and don't forget to coming back. We gonna do the sketch after the three minutes. All right, now is our water break. During the water break, you can complete your work, drinking some water, use washroom, stretch your body, and get ready for the next sections. All right, and don't forget to coming back when the timer is done. Use your break time wisely, okay? Don't waste the time just sitting right here. Our water break is almost over. Make sure you got everything ready for the next sections. Almost the class. Get ready for the next part. Three, two, one. Okay. So when you finish the layout, so your pencil line should looks like this, very very light. So what do I mean, very very light? When you use the erasers, you can easily. Remove the pencil line. If when you erase the pencil line, you still can see the print on the paper, which means you brush your pencil too hard. All right, so make sure you have a very very light pencil outline for the drafting. Okay, so that's the head, that's body, that's the legs, and that's the trunk. 
So we're gonna start from the head. All right, so let me zoom in. So let's start to do the detail of the head right here. All right, so first of all, we have to find the eye. So the eye will be right here, very small. On the same level, it will be here. But it's on the side. So I just mark there so I know where's the eye. Okay, so make sure the eye is on the same level, not is higher or lower. All right, so the elephant, they doesn't has a circle head. It just like close to the circle, but they are not circle. All right, so from the middle, okay, the middle here, okay. So he has a flat head. See, it's flat. Okay. Then we have a curve and touch the eye. So see curve, touch the eye and straight down and stop right here because that is where is the trunk. Okay. So the trunk has a wrinkle, but we will do that after. We just very, very light to find the size. It looks like this. All right, it's very, very light. Don't do it too hard. As I said, we're gonna do the detail. All right, so wider, getting smaller. All right, so I'm gonna add some curve, curve up. Same thing, so light. And here I curve to the other angles. All right, so let's see the detail. For the chunk, it has a wrinkle. Up, see here, a small curve. See, they are separate. Do you see here? A small, small curve ends. All right, so we're gonna do that for the rest of them. Okay, so we go up a little bit and come back, up and all the way. Even they are small. They do have the wrinkle. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Curve, curve, all the way. And here. So they are not, uh, they doesn't have a smooth nose, okay? And we got add some wrinkle, some long, some short, but basically they follow the angle that we just add. So here has a big tube. Okay, so right here. Go down a very short line on the eye. The eyes right here, a little bit lower here. And go down, curve up. Okay, then it's come to us. So the angle looks a little bit tricky. All right, and the other ones, they are on the same level, the same high. Another two on the other side. So one on the left, one on the uh, one on the right, uh, one on the left. But that's see, the bottom part of the two, they are on the same level. Okay, so which means you have to check none of them are longer than the other one they should be looks equally all right then let's continue to do the head so from the circle remember we have a light circle right here so we're gonna do something curve like this and that's the face all right so remember we have the eye right here but the elephant 
the eye doesn't have that big they don't have the big eye so they have the very very small eye okay then let me zoom up so we can do the ears so from here we go up a little bit a little bit okay then going to the right and it's big it doesn't have it looks like the butterfly so it doesn't have a smooth ears all the way down see the angle is curved and until where until here then we go up don't touch the face all right don't touch the face yet i leave some space right here because we have to connect to the, the neck and he has some wrinkle from the ears okay they are big they just like the fabric so that's the head all right so we're done with the head all right and we finished the ears and you might have to crash and where's the other side we only see a little bit right here because it's on the other angle so we only see a little bit right there okay all right so we finished the head now we are working on the body so the body will be a little bit easier because they don't have that much detail okay so remember we got the circles right there again their body is based on the circle but they don't look like the circle so we do something from here a little bit like the diagonal and curve see i over the circle a little bit and stop because i gonna do the leg the leg will be right here and stop here Let's see, I got the angle. Turn, go down. So the elephant's leg from here, see? How close to the tooth? It's pretty close to the tooth. Straight down, a uh, diagonal line. Turn and stop, All right? So we're gonna do continue to finish the body so we can do the other legs. So continue. So where this light coming from? So we from here, the stomach. Pretend it's something behind. Pretend it's something behind. So I can continue to do the line right here. So continue. So from here. All right. Then we can do the other legs. From the nose. Cross behind the legs. Okay, then we can do the back legs from the butt, goes down, same thing, curve. See here, a little bit bended, just a slightly, you don't have to do it too crazy. And same thing right there. And we have the tail. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the detail for the leg. So let me zoom in. We basically have the shape of the leg, but it doesn't look right because it's too smooth. So we're gonna finish the foot, okay? So I have to go out a little bit so we can do the nail. They don't have the long nail. So it looks like that. The back foot, we don't see it. And right here, we can see a little bit. So same thing. The nail. Okay, then the wrinkle. So the wrinkle is right here. Like the tree, right? So we're gonna do the wrinkle outside the skin. So make the skin looks a little bit rough. So on the top, same thing. 
don't make the skin looks too bumpy because it doesn't look nice. All right, so we have some wrinkle on the body, a few of them. Okay, so we're done with the basic shape of the elephant. Okay, if you want to, you can remove all the lines that we don't need it to keep your joint looks clean. But up to you, because we're gonna do some shading for that. Okay, so let me clean this up. We don't need the center cross. See, it's very easy for me to remove the pencil line because I make them super, super bright. So I can just stamp on it and remove it and they are clean. It won't take me too long to erase them. All right, so we're gonna shade something. So I want you to find yours 2B pencils. Okay, the 2B pencils. If you don't have it, the HB pencil is okay. So HB pencil is any writing pencil for you. All right, so we're gonna shade from the darkest color. So this leg, be careful the two. Okay, and the leg right here. So when I'm shading, I don't make my pencil straight up like you're doing the writing. Don't do that because we are not writing. I hold my pencil like this. I line down my pencil and shading on this. Don't do the writing. This is the writing. The pencil is on top of the hand. So I want you to make your pencil under your hands. So use this, use these two fingers to hold the pencils and do the shading. So you can get the very soft shading colors. All right, and where else? Under the head. Be careful the two. Under the ears, because the ear just like the umbrella. Stomach. See, I started shading my shadow, getting brighter. I didn't make them too dark. Okay, so when you do the shading, you have to find the color value. Where is the darkers? And the rest of it often has to look brighter. So you can compare. The first one I did is much darker than the one I did from here. See, these two are different color volume, right? So same here on the face. So your shadings go up and getting brighter. And right here on top of the two, on the trunk, the lower part here, not the top. slightly shading it not too dark on the face because they have so many sunlight on the top okay then the ears under the uh, on the side of the head they have the shadow coming out from the head so we have some shadow very very light and brighter So that's the shape, uh, sketch for our elephant, all right? So if you want to, so you can add in the shadow just right under the elephant. So you can show the weight. You can make them much darker. All right, so today we focus on the scale of the elephant. Then we do a little bit shading, that's it. Then when you're done, we can sign the name and write down the date. When you complete your join, 
sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，跟写上日期。Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦。And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦。Bye bye. See you next time.